it does not matter what you might have done in the past. God is willing to heal what has been broken and destroyed among both of you. You just have to believe in God's love for you. I know that the incident after the breakup was painful and it might even have led you to kill yourself and commit suicide. But God saw you during those pains and He will restore all that has been lost by the power of darkness and He is going to do a quick work in your life. Many do believe that God can do anything. They even quote those words as the scripture has said that He can do exceedingly abundantly above all we can ask or think. But the most difficult clause many times is that it is so hard for people to believe that God will even, though they believe that He can do all things. Believing in the willingness of God is tied to your understanding of His love for you. There is a story in the Word of God about a leprous man who was always hiding from the crowd because he was afraid that if he is seen as a leper, he will be stoned to death. Jesus saw him hit the rock and he went to him when the crowds were trying to find out answers to their questions when he met him. The leper was crying and he was so ashamed but he could not keep suffering the stigma and pain of being a leper. When the healer was standing before him, he then made a remarkable statement that many today have in their mind which is that, Master, if you are willing, please heal me. And Jesus touched his hands. That is the first touch he has ever received since birth, and he was cleansed from the leper. You might be saying that this is talking about leprosy alone, but that is not true in any way because the same effect that leprosy has is the same effect that a broken relationship has in the heart of the person who is suffering from it. It takes the healing power of God to mend a broken heart. Psalms chapter 34 verse 18 to 19 says, The Lord is nigh unto them that are of a broken heart, and saveth such as be of a contrite spirit. Many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord delivereth him out of them all. God is willing to heal your broken heart and restore your relationship if only you will put your trust and rest in him. You might be saying in your heart that your relationship has been broken is far from being repaired. That is not true. Do not listen to the lie of the devil when he wants to set a trap before you. He will try to throw thoughts of lies that you will believe and fall for his deception. There is nothing like someone is too far for God to repair. It has never been and it will never be. Even though the person has left you and said that they will no more associate with you, there is hope in God. You should know God for yourself. And the only way you can know the Lord that you serve is by reading the Word of God. Because when you look to the Word of God, you will know that God can control the uncontrollable means, even though who you think are so hard and stubborn to be touched, God can still reach and speak to them and persuade them to follow His ways. Have you heard about Cyrus in the Bible? He was a heathen king that was against the children of Israel. But God laid his hands on him and made him rebuild the broken temple of Jerusalem. God can rebuild that broken relationship in your life. He will do it and he will do it swiftly. That is why you should pray to God and seek his help so that he can intervene in your relationship. Do not doubt the power of God to heal broken relationships. He can heal your broken relationship and make it sweet again, even more than how you left it. The reason why people do not see the power of God in their lives even down to their emotional life is because of unbelief and rebellion. God does not work in isolation. What He will do for one is based on the person's involvement in His power. That is why we have to pray 
because when we pray, we give God the license to intervene in our realm and bring change in our lives. Do not let anyone talk down on you and talk you into unbelief. There is nothing impossible for God to do for you. There is absolutely nothing impossible for God to do for you because what He has said in His Word is sufficient to give assurance. He is the one that parted the Red Sea. He is the one that fed His people for 40 years in the wilderness without any market to get food from Him. He is the one that turns the water to wine. He is the one that made toiling fishermen who caught nothing the previous nights catch a boat breaking a load of fish with just one word. This is the God that you serve, and you can trust Him that if He says that healing is your inheritance in Christ Jesus, then your broken relationship is part of the radar of healing. We reduce the healing power of God to just physical pain and sickness, which is true that God can and will heal back pain and leg pain down to any kind of physical ailment, but that is one side of healing. The major side of healing is the healing that has to do with your heart, because the root cause of all kinds of sicknesses. This is why God will heal your broken relationship. He can heal you from that offense and bitterness so that you can give him or her your chance and have an open heart to accept him or her back. If God could restore our lost relationship with him, which was a result of what Adam and Eve did to what we now have in Jesus, why can't he restore and heal your broken relationship? When God heals it, it is always sweet and refreshing. This is not a fairy tale. It is something you can believe God for that. Lord, I have lost my ex to my foolishness. I pray that you will heal both of us and reconcile us back together. When God does this restoration and healing in your life, you will just find your heart being more open to your ex and you will have this drawing to him and settle the issues both of you had. Believe the word of God to you today. He will heal your broken relationship. God hates broken relationships because when two persons who have committed their vows to each other and also their love for each other, when part ways, it causes emotional instability, which is the very issue why many do not even want to marry in the first place because of the high level and amount of divorce that has been heard in many homes. A broken relationship is a manifestation of the works of the devil, just like sickness and pain are manifestations of the devil. God does not want you to continue living in regret and pain over that broken relationship you have had in the past. He wants to heal it and give you a new beginning. There might be many things that might be the cause of the breakup. It might have been your foolishness or their foolishness. Do not live in the condemnation of the past. It is time to move on and walk in a new beginning. There is nothing too hard for your father to do. You have to live your life looking up to God and not looking horizontally at what might have happened to both of you in the past. The main thing the enemy uses as a stronghold to make many afflictions persist is by making them believe it is because of what they did or what did not do in the past that has caused what they are suffering in the present. Do not live in the condemnation of the past even though it is because you had sinful life that the relationship between you and your ex was.